Hello, everybody. This is MC. I'm back. I did an earlier video. And I was a little rusty on it. So, you know, uh, this is the MC Recovery Wellness and Relapse Show. Uh, remember to hit that uh, subscribe button, the like button. Share it with the case manager or someone. This is a deeper, deeper look into character defects within the sixth step of recovery. So, you know, let me take off the Morpheus glasses. You see, I got my guy Morpheus right here. He in the house. And I have been taking some time off, but not necessarily just being a responsible you know, ran, ran in some uh, roadblocks with my son because, you know, his attention span sometimes in school go up and down and, you know, uh, but it ain't no uh, if, ands, or buts about it. He knows how to do the schoolwork. He just got into the 10th grade, but when it comes to having a whole lot of candy and all of that and any sorts of distractions, not comprehending uh, uh, what sitting that he's in, you know, he have to be in the office, something by itself. You know, a lot of us have 504 plans out there. Uh, I have them on that, but the reasonable accommodations ain't as what you may expect as it is for those that's in college. So my name is MC and you know, I have 22 years of recovery and one more week I'll be 23, uh, 15 years in Department of Mental Health. And we do this thing one day at a time. So, you know, uh, one day at a time, whether it's recovery or not recovery, just life. And sometimes you gotta do it one hour at a time. So. What I'm gonna put up here, right on the screen, to get a deeper, deeper look into these character defects. See, I had a sheet on the last video that showed you a character defect and opposite of a character defect. See, so uh, let me stop this light. Look, I'm trying to get a little up on it with the tech I did. I don't know how to brighten it up. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Oh, I did something. There it is. Uh, let's jump on it. See, this is the sheet I had earlier. Right on this sheet, let me come on down. Uh, it has like the opposites. And uh, within these opposites of everything that, that it has, it has stuff like, you know, uh, like in this section, it has selfish and unselfish, giving and sharing. That's the more positive side of it. But then you see all these of character defects. Selfish, dishonest, resentful, ignorant, afraid and fear, egotistical, cocky, envious, slothful, gluttonous, uh, impatient, vengeful, hurtful, sarcastic so and then they got some more on this side but what i like to see when i'm looking at that according to this book right here this book right here allowed me this book the 12 and 12 the step six in this to give you a better breakdown if you hit a 12 and 12 uh, aaca meeting you get a break, better breakdown See, I read all those character defects. Yes, we are sinners. But not only, a lot of those character defects is associated with some of the seven deadly sins. It, it mentioned seven deadly sins even right in this book. I don't know if it's six or seven. I'm not going to go to that chapter. But if you Google it, you may run across it. And it's in the 12 and 12. The 12 and 12 is 12 steps and 12 traditions. So, like I mentioned right up here earlier, then it has some more. And then the other ones that it, that it have is jealousy, procrastination, self-seeking, and all of that, right? So I'm going to break down some of the ones that really glare out at me, like in my early 
early recovery. And the ones that glared out to me the most in my early recovery was the ones that's on this board over here. Uh, you see I have character defects. Let me put this down. How do I do it? Let me just go back to here. Not right there. Right on this board right here. These are some of my achievements. This is my uh, last year advocacy of the year certificate. And some of these, I'm thinking about, you know, I've been on some other people's shows and I need to probably put them right on, right on the wall instead of just having them sliding around here. These is all, all a lot of employees don't get accommodations and rec recognition for their services that they do in their community. So that's what happened as a result of me, you know, being rid of some of my character defects. But now, one thing about some character defects, though, some of them serve a, a great uh, bonus within this sort of society that we're in these days. So sometime like in the meeting, I may have to be a T-bit cocky. A T-bit cocky to get my point out. Uh, across. am I selfish? Or in the way I do this cockiness, do I get it across to show that I'm selfless? I'm thinking of myself less for the greater good for what we need to accomplish right in, right in these meetings. So right up here, character defect. I did it like the sheet I just showed you. Here's the defect of characters, and here's the opposite of defect of characters. Dishonest uh, and honesty. Now, back in early recovery, like, you know, way over there before step one, uh, we all can remember, and some of us is maybe accidentally don't even know we prone are doing it right at this moment. That that you know, uh, uh, should I would like you know rather come up with a lie or when you was a child, uh, shit, it would have done better for MC to just go on and tell the truth. But instead of me telling the truth, I. Should I would rather say, make up some story when I was a kid, make up some story because the last story worked. So, so I keep making up these stories and then one more time I'm on punishment, I'm getting whooping or something is about to go down. But then that travel into when you're a teen and an adult. And then especially when you're, uh, when you're a young man and you're trying to talk to certain girls or women or trying to pick up stuff or you're trying to maneuver and manipulate around your friends. So you rather go on and just, you know, make up a story. I get paid on Friday. I'll pay you back then. But when you get paid, you know where to be found. Or it's like, baby, baby, you should. Or when you want to, something from the opposite sex, like sex. Uh, you will say just about anything, do just about anything. And then uh, you, you would basically say, I, I ain't going to cheat on you. I'm going to show up. I'm going to take you out to the movie, girl. Or, or you want something always right in return. So I'm being dishonest. When I could have just been honest in the first place. Saying, you know, I don't think this relationship is going to work out. You know. That's the reason why, you know, uh, I don't think we should no longer, you know, take any more steps further or something like that. Or, or, or you know, hey, hey, I can't afford buying all this stuff for you. That's not the real me. Uh, so when, when, in other words, it, it would have saved you a whole lot of time if you would have been honest, MC, from the the jump screen. And here's another one of my character defects that I had a problem with. Procrastination. Not preparing myself in, in a timely manner. 
showing up to work late, showing up to events late, showing up to jobs late, uh, 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 not keeping a timely appointment with tasks that I may have to, to do, a procrastinator in other words. Uh, meaning that, you know, I'm always putting stuff off. And then I put, then I saw another one that was right on this, this, this list here. And it was in there, self-justification. I cannot believe it, self-justification. See, let me bring some of this closer. All of these is real glaring. Self-justification to the point to where you know an opposite of self-justification is accepting. Why? When it comes to this uh, character, character defect, I'm always conquering up some type of uh, justification for myself, but what, what's wrong sometimes that I'm still working on, I was self-justify self something from of someone that I know or, 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 or that is one of my friends or associates. And it's not like I'm trying to do it to say I'm good or they good, but it's like just to nip everything in the bud. Uh, I always believe it's another uh, another excuse for the reason why certain certain things happen. Now I know a lot of people suffer from this other one, or have an association with lustful lustfulness, whether it's over people, places, things, or situation. And the opposite of that is to be content. But this lustful one is one of the seven deadly sins too. Because it's like, you know, lustfulness is real close to that place of greed. Greed is a character defect. So, you know, never having enough. And then slothful. Where, you know, do I exercise taking shortcuts? Thinking it's an easier and softer way of doing things that instead of putting in the hard work. So reveal your character defects and it's more. It's more that stems with this. So, you know, the, uh, the root of a lot of relapse is related to, to individuals that, you know, just never had time uh, be rid of some of those character defects. Now, some of these will come back, but when they come back, does they come back as an asset? Like I said earlier in the video. So, you know, with that, I would like to say this is the this is the deeper this is a deeper dive into these character defects. See, be, because with see without character defects, I wouldn't. Have, never know what is my shortcoming. So hopefully I'm gonna speak about them shortcomings because every character defects balked uh, me into having a lot of shortcomings. So in other words, you know, if you're in the, the field of recovery, that's the dive with these character defects. It seems like I'm forgetting something else to say, but with with that, I would like to say, you know, um, hit that subscribe button, tune in. I'm, I'm gonna come up with some more and more uh, resources. I'm not affiliated with the NFL, but I am a Rams fan. Woo woo. And um, I bought some other products. I bought the Scream Deck thing. So hopefully I can get this thing started, uh, figure it out. And until then, um, what else? Take a peep at your um, inventory and all of your processes and meet.
and little Morpheus. We'll see you until then. Take care. Peace.